They've done it all year long. They'll go whoever's hot. Here's uh, Garrett Odom is their first guy. Love to see it, and he is definitely a dual-threat quarterback. 478 passing yards, and he's averaging 58 rushing yards per game. And then a lefty, number 15, Alex Rodgers. 919 passing yards on the season, eight passing touchdowns. They'll really rely on their tailback, Cale Breslin. He's a dual threat here. Uh, good running back and great hands out of the backfield. Four of his ten games, he ran for over 100-plus rushing yards, and he is averaging 6.8 yards per carry. Both quarterbacks are dual threats. They're very, very elusive. Uh, and here's the starting quarterback for Foothill. We were here earlier this year, and Mason Dew put on a show for us then, and he's put on a show for everybody all year long. Such an athlete. I know Sean King can't wait to see him again. 41 passing touchdowns on the year, 3,300. 3, 16 passing yards. It's a shame their top receiver, Terrell Mack Lovely, not playing tonight with a lower body injury. 12 receiving touchdowns. It's going to hurt them, but they've got a lot of guys out there. Next man up mentality. They really do. Ethan Stubbs, next top receiver. Chase Kennedy, Braxton Bonnet, Devin Wake. Uh, they got a plethora of wide receivers. They're going to miss Mack Lovely for sure, but they have so many options. Sean King, my partner, will meet me in the booth tonight. Sean was Super Bowl champ and a two lane great. Love his commentary on the football game. And Alex, I know you've got a couple of interviews and you'll talk to the coaches at halftime yes i will and coach brown said before the game they've really got to stop their run that is the key for them to win this game they did win the first one 28 17 we'll see how tonight goes uh, coach mike sanford says it wasn't a great year because we lost to these guys so i know the crusaders will be fired up that's uh mike sanford vernon brown for faith uh, for foothill has his team ready to roll tonight stay tuned here pull up a chair spend part of your friday night with us here on my lv tv it's thursday night lights Play Playoff edition on Friday night. <clears throat> Foothill brings in what I think is, if not the best, because a lot of people think Bishop Gormich Michael Alahada is the best. I think Mason Dew might be the best quarterback in Las Vegas. So I'm excited to see him and the Falcons get an opportunity to play Faith Lutheran. Faith Lutheran uses a two quarterback system. We'll see how effective it is tonight, Kenny. And it's uh, Faith Lutheran kicking off, and it will be a touchback and into the end zone. I'll say this as Foothills comes out. Anytime your quarterback throws for over 3,000 yards and 41 touchdowns, you have more than just one threat, a wide receiver. But the second best player on this Foothill team, Terrell Mack Lovely, is out tonight. And I started off by mentioning this as we look at the Honda Las Vegas uh, Honda dealer starting lineup. I think Terrell Mack Lovely is one of the best players in the city. Like, he's that good. He's not just a, a guy that's good in this system. Like, he's an elite talent. So we'll see if Ethan Stubbs and Devin Wake and the rest of these guys can take up the slack tonight without the leading pass catcher for the Falcons being available. Yeah, like you said, when you throw for 3,000 yards, there's other guys. But Mick Lovely caught 33% of those passing <laughs> yards. That's a big percentage. And on first down, it is a running play off to the left side and out past the 25 to the 26-yard line, a six-yard run. That is on first down. And we may see a more that balanced approach by Vernon Brown's offense tonight, knowing that Mac Lovely isn't available. Yeah, I don't know. With a quarterback like Mason do, I think we're going to see a lot of passing. Let's take a look at the defense of Faith Luthan that's going to try to stop Mason do tonight. Excellent season for Faith Luthan. The Crusaders 7-3, and 5-1, and one, you know, in this 5A Division II district so it's gonna be a, a heck of a ball game tonight Kenny. Avante Gates number 21 he ran for six yards on first down two back to pass and he is going to be sacked for a loss of a couple here on second down. When you have an offense that's as potent as the Falcons you can approach it one or two ways defensively I can bring a lot of pressure try and get Mason do to get rid of the ball early or I can sit back and play zone and keep bodies in coverage and hope Mason makes some mistakes. It'll be interesting to see what Mike Sanford and his defense, what their plan of attack is tonight versus this Falcons offense. Should be interesting. The second time around for these two teams. A very close game. One score game. Foothill was, uh, they benefited from a couple of Faith Luthan turnovers in that game or it could have gone the other way. On third down, third and six, Do drops back, throws deep over the middle. This ball is up for grabs and just out of the hands of Devin Wake and incomplete. What a great throw. You see this play call so often, Kenny, and the quarterback overthrows it. This is a great job by Mason of putting air under the ball, giving Devin a chance to run underneath it. But what a play by Wanley Wilson here going up high point in that ball. That's just a tremendously good play by the defender. 
Yeah, no doubt about it. Wilson, great defense, shadowed on Wake on that play. Fourth down and six. Back to punt. Well, this punt is downed at the 44-yard line of Faith Lutheran, and that's where the Crusaders will take over. This Crusaders offense, you mentioned before the game as we were conversing a little bit that there's a saying if you if you don't if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any. This is interesting, Kenny, because when you look at Garrett Odom and Alex Rogers, who both are gonna play tonight, they're very efficient throwing the ball. 15 touchdowns, only four picks between them. I think Garrett Odom's more the dual threat as he's rushed over 500 yards and eight touchdowns, but they can both effectively run this Crusaders offense. Yeah, Odom definitely a dual threat guy. Eight touchdowns this year, averaging 58 rushing yards per game. And he is in at the starter. Handoff is up the middle, a gain of about four. That's going to be Cale Breslin on the, on the carry. We'll see a lot of him tonight. Almost 800 yards rushing in the regular season, five touchdown. Cale's been the motor that makes this vehicle go on offense for the Crusaders. So this Foothills front is going to have their hands full trying to stop this Crusader rushing attack. Very good out of the back. It's a good hand. So both Odom and Rodgers will look to Breslin uh, on short passes, uh, checkdowns if they need him. Odom second down and five. They gave him five on first down. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself. And Odom is across midfield to the 47 yard line, a yard short of the first down, third and one. Exactly where you want to be, third and one. Yeah, absolutely. All the night. Falcons were able to force, I mean, uh, were forced to go three and out and punt. Let's see if their defense can return the favor here as we get our first third and short of the game. I would imagine we're going to see a little Kale Breslin here. Coming down, he'll see if Foothills can stop the big back from the Crusaders. I like the Crusaders uniforms. That white on white just looks sweet. It does look Helmets nice. all polished up. <laughs> I like that look. Third and one. Hand off up the middle, and you're right. It is Breslin, and he is going to get the first down. He's down to the 44-yard line, and that is all second effort by Breslin. Yeah, and basically, you know, Dayton Summers had a chance in the hole, number 23 from the Foothill it's Falcons, to make that stop. And Breslin just was the better player on that particular play. Sanford feels like he can get Breslin in these one-on-one -on -one situations and find out if the Foothills defenders can tackle their big back. Yeah, Dayton Summers had him, if not before, is the Crusaders. Odom handoff again, right back up the middle. And a big gain of eight yards on first down for Breslin. Uh, Nolan said, don't we go with the hot hand who's playing. Uh, if one guy's playing really well, he's staying in the football game. And here is Odom rolling to his left, throwing, and it's just. It's kind of fascinating, Kenny, that they've been able to thrive with that being the operating procedure. You know, it's a lot of pressure on you as a quarterback. To know. That you divide the team a little bit because half the players think maybe Odom should play. The other half thinks Rodgers should play. I'm not sure how that works out. And this is a big gainer inside the 30 down to the 25 yard line. I guess each situation is a little different. Obviously, this works for Faith Lutheran as they're seven and three here in the second round of the playoffs. It, it seems to be, and we've only seen Gary. For one, he felt they were like one in the same. So uh, both kind of dual threat guys, but Odom the far better runner, at least the stats. That's what the stats show. Here's a guy wide open on the rollout. And this is a first down inside the 20, inside the red zone, down to the 10-yard line. This is just a great play call here. Great job by Odom of putting that ball a yard in front of the face mask so O'Reilly can make some yards after the catch. It's an impressive drive. This the seven. Here's the handoff. This is to Cart. Calling all high school seniors and parents. Attend CSN tuition-free with a Nevada Promise Scholarship. Applying is so easy. Just now, definitely don't want to lose any more guys. Odom takes the snap. We've got a guy here in the open, and he throws an interception in the end zone. Picked off by Foothill. The first turnover of the game, and what a shame, because Odom had a guy right to his right, no one covering him. Great catch by Isaiah Sands, but you mentioned that, Kenny, that just was a touchdown here. Oh, that's Kale Breslin. That's Kale Breslin. Wide open. There. Wide open. Yeah. 
Well, at first tournament, that's the first tournament of the game. We're going to take a quick break here on MyLV TV. I'm Chen Din from Faith Lutheran. My name is Jackson Carpenter from Harborview High School. I'm Mason Dew, and I go to Foothill High School, and you're watching Thursday Night Lights on MyLV TV. Occurrence for Faith Lutheran because Kale Breslin was wide open for a walk-in touchdown. And here's Dew going deep over the middle. He's got a guy open and in and out. Right. Sometime, mate, watch this, Kenny. You just got to keep running. Watch how he kind of is putting his hands up in the air. He's just got to keep pumping, and that'll get him that last little, little yard and a half. Yeah, absolutely. All it does is look good. It doesn't count. I don't think Mason has a completion yet. Second and ten. No, no completions yet. This handoff up the middle, out the bellow, and it is a loss of about four. This is up on third and 12 from the 18. When you got Mason do, he can get those those 12 yards, but not this time. He is harassed and sacked. Reverse field and come back and make this sack. You see how he reverses field right there, and Mason thinks he's out of the pocket. Not so fast, my dude. And the punt is high, short, and it's a fair kiss. I know he's going to miss playing tonight. Handoff up the middle. This is Breslin, a big gain. In Across the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown, Cade Breslin. We didn't even get to mention that Alex Rogers was in the quarterback, but I guess great handoff, Alex. Man, I didn't know Breslin had that kind of explode. I mean, he was picking them up and putting them down. Like, I know he's a big back that can run with power. He makes that cut. I mean, he's, he, he accelerates right here. Nice jump cut, and you're right. There's the acceleration into the end zone. 45 yards because... They didn't, they didn't kick long all the time. They did a lot of pooch kicks this year, too. Right. But the ones they asked him to kick. You can trust. It's also really talented. They can make big field goals to win games, convert his extra points, and then take away what we found out this year is sometimes the team's best opportunity to score, which is the kick return. Right. He's talking to him. He's going to USC uh, next week to, to visit uh, the Trojans. And here's his kick, and it is a cannon. It sounds. And into the end zone. <laughs> It sounds the third possession tonight for Foothill. Uh, twice, three and out. Faith Lutheran defense has done a nice job. Negative yardage. Five yards. They lost five yards on three plays on the second drive. Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left for Dew. Altabello in the backfield, Dew. Drops back to throw. He's pressured again, but escapes that pressure. He's going to run it. He's out past the 30 for a first down and out of bounds at the 30. And it's interesting, Kenny, because he really didn't demonstrate this part of his game that much this year. Under 200 yards rushing, he really was content just throwing the football. Take us out to midfield, first and 10 at the 50 for the Falcons. And that has to frustrate Coach Sanford. Last thing you want to do is give this offense... Better field. Mason do has a very explosive offense. Drops back, throws to the right side. He's got a guy open. This is going to be complete and out of bounds. You can see the chemistry right there. I mean, he threw this ball. This was an out and up before Stubbs ever came out of the out route. So this is just great timing and ball location by Do. Stubbs was really down to the 21 yard line. First and 10, Falcons. And off to Altabello, up the middle, he's got room to run. This is not Altabello. This is, yes it is, I'm sorry, Eugene Altabello into the end zone. Touchdown, 21-yard run. We have, watch this cut, Kenny. He gets vertical right here. Watch him put his foot in the ground and kick it outside. Great run by Eugene. Almost identical kind of to Bill Bresler's run. run. Yeah, very similar. Shorter, the foot in the ground. And yeah. Here's Kenzovich's kickoff. It's short, caught at the 25-yard line. And out to the 30, the 35, around the edge to the 40, and the 45. Great starting po field position for Faith Lutheran. That was number six, Apaya Kolo. And this was Brock blocked extremely well. And we've seen some monster kicks. First down. 
Handoff to Breslin. A tight end is lined up at uh, tackle as well. And they will use two two tight end sets here for Faith Ruthen. Handoff again to Breslin. This is a you just look up front. I mean, he's what four, five, six yards, you know, upfield before he ever encounters a Falcons defender. I'm really for the game. That was his biggest worry is the running game of the Crusaders. Back to pass. This is Odom. He steps up in the pocket. He's going to run it, and he has those type of skills. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Gain of eight, second and two. Gary just didn't like what he saw right there, so he decided to tuck it. it looks like he was going to make another bad decision, and it flashed in his mind what happened. Pre in the end zone, picked off by Isaiah Sams, number 20 for Foothill. Hand off to Breslin, and stopped right there about the line of his legacy. I spoke to his parents after the game, and he's a basketball player that's playing football for the, long, for the first time, so he's a two. Odom fakes the handoff. He'll keep it himself. He's got plenty of room to run. He's across the 20 to 15, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Garrett Odom. The quarterback keeper. Great ball handling by the Crusaders quarterback. Odom fooled, and he fooled me and you. <laughs> he fooled the defense of the Falcons. I mean, everybody thought Breslin had the ball. That's just a great job right there, executing the play. 34-yard touchdown run by Odom. And on for that extra point is Crittenden. That kick is... That game, I think this is going to be a little more high scoring. Well, Faith has had one already tonight. Very easily could be ahead 21-7. to seven. But for uh, Foothill, they're glad they're not. And it's 14-7, and the Falcons will get the ball back here. Most likely at the 20-yard line with Cade Chittenden kicking off. Cade is senior, 5'10", 172. You know, you see a leg like this, you think the guy's 6'3", 220. But no, and this is a line drive into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. I think he missed that one. Hand off to Altabello, and he's got room to run. Got a first down across the 30, out to the 35-yard line, a 15-yard run. Mason looks over the defense. If he likes the box count, it's a run. If he doesn't like the box count, it's a pass. Again, two wide receivers right, two to the left. No one open, scrambling to his right. He's going to keep it and run out of bounds around the third. Run the football much the first time we saw him out here, but he's running a couple times tonight. This is Altabello. Pinballing off a couple run. Started to think, hey, maybe we're a little better better off running it. And they are out to midfield. Approaching, you know, defending this Foothills offense. If he gets a little more aggressive here at, when we get into the second quarter. Off the a big run. And that will be the six seconds to go. They're going to count it down. That will be the end of the first quarter with Faith Ruthen leading 14 to 7. Them. They just finished their marching band season, and then in a month they're headed to Honolulu for the Pearl Harbor Day Parade. Uh, we got their playoff game tomorrow, but for sure we're headed up north to play in the state finals in Reed. 15 yard run, and Mason Dew had a run. Deep drop. Dew's gonna throw deep. He's got a guy, and it's just out of the reach. This ball just out of the arm reach of Kennedy. Yeah, a rare miss by. I got Mason do wide open man. I mean that just makes coach Brown for the Falcons kick is To the left it's gonna go out of bounds. This will be a short kick No return. Well, he's gonna get a great mark They're gonna mark it out at the ninth Luther Crusaders will take over And we know Rodgers is the lefty. And this is Rodgers. He throws complete to the tight end, a first down out to the 35 yard line. And now we're seeing Rodgers, who handed off all he wanted on the first play, and Breston took it for a touchdown on series two. But here we go, series four. And big out of the, uh, in, in, the, in the patterns. Handoff tripped up, nice job. All playing for one of the power programs, and, you know, moved here to Vegas, and, you know, he's excited to be here at football. Second and ten. 
Lefty Rogers throws behind. I was probably gonna be like, am I starting next year? Or am I not? Because I'm not want to go somewhere, you know, where I can be the full-time starter. And they're both juniors. This is a screen to Breslin Bonnet. This is a high kick that bounces at the 35. Here's Mason <laughs> Dew. Hand off to Altabello. And a stutter step and a great job of the defense. No gain on the play. Journey of all these young players who are trying to win a state championship here in the state of Nevada. Mason Dew back to pass. He is rushed in a short completion. A pickup of about three, but a great job. Play for products and rewards or rack your points up to redeem convenience store cash. Gas anyone? Our terribles plus rewards. Do drops back, rolls to his left. He's going to keep it across midfield to the 40, the 45, the 35, and he slides down. A pass protecting. And again, we really haven't seen a lot of this from Mason Do this year. He's thrown for over 3,000 yards, but he hasn't even rushed for 200. His left has had a nice game as well. Plenty of time, but now that it breaks down a little bit, the coverage has been great. Rolling right, throwing, and this pass is complete. A rope. I mean, watch this, Kenny. I mean, he puts his ball right there, and it gets there in a hurry. And that's just a really, really good throw by Mason. Yeah, to Mitchell, just another guy next man up when you got Terrell Mack. Love back judge of what has put his arm up with 10 seconds to go. Hand off to Altabello. Not a lot of room, but he's going to pick up a yard or two here. Coming at him. And there's a little, little bit of room to run. Looked like it was going to be a bigger hole. And off to Altabello, he is going to pick up the first down. Pistol offense. Plus, people don't realize that it works for Philly because of Jason Kelsey, who's the brother of Travis Kelsey, who, of course, is dating Taylor Swift. True, true, true. And it works because he is a Pro Bowl center, and he's excellent at it. What a family. Pro Bowl center, the best center in the game. Right. And their other son's the best tight end in the game. Absolutely. It's good genes there. That is really amazing. Just the odds of Jada getting one son into the NFL to, to just play in the NFL, the odds are astronomical. And here's Dew again, and he's scrambling, makes a nice cutback. He's inside the 20, inside the 15, down to the 9-yard line. Mason Dew, another big pickup. Great performances. I mean, good job of stepping up in the pocket, and he's harder to tackle than you think. He's kind of got like the little tricky little movement. Dude looking over his options. It's a four-man rush, and there's pressure on him. He's got to run again. He's down to the five-yard line. He slides. Dude looking over his options. It's a four-man rush, and there's pressure on him. He's got to run again. He's down to the five-yard line. He slides. Second and goal from the five. Hand off to Altabello. There it is. Down to the three. Down and goal from the four. Do rolls to his right, throws, touchdown. That's his halfback, Eugene Altabello with the score. One of these orbit motions, you fake the handoff to him and sneak your back out into the flat. I mean, I, that's just a great play design. And the kids went out and executed it. And we're an extra point away from having a tie game here in the second round of the playoffs. Great job of Expolo Loia. But this one of the up men is going to take this and slides down at the 40 yard line. That's our tight end. Yeah, it's because Faith Lutheran's first time coming on the field for offense in the second quarter. And it will be uh, the quarterback rotation once again. Garrett Odom, number three, will start this drive for Faith. And outside of one bad decision on the interception, Garrett yeah. Odom played really good. He really has. Takes the inside handoff, the jet sweep, and keeps it himself. And, and fighting his way into the secondary out to the 48-yard line. We haven't seen the Crusaders really try and throw the ball down the field as of yet. As they do fake it. Roll action. left, and the pressure is on him. And they're going to sack him way. First down, but they're being aggressive, which I'm not mad at that. But, you know, kind of backfired on him a little bit. Now you're in third and long, and potentially going to get a football back to the stop here. He needs oh, another yeah. timeout. And they'll have some an opportunity to get the ball with some time on the clock. Here's Odom steps back. He's being harassed again. He's going to run it out to the 40 jukes, but just nowhere to go. Going to go for it, but I probably would go ahead and use that timeout here. This time is valuable. I would if, if, if I was Vernon Brown. I'd want as much time as possible. He's got a big leg. 5'10", 170. He's a senior. Here he is. Snap is good. The kick. 
line drive that hits it about the 30 but takes a great bounce. Good. I want him fired up for the second half. Back to pass. Do throws complete. No, I think there's going to be. They're well over 100 tonight. Rolling to his right out of his own end zone. This year in a real game to tie the score under pressure. Back to pass. Do rolls to his right. He is pressured. He get he escapes one defensive tackler and brought down across the timeout with around 11 left. Boy, that that football was just sitting there for a defensive player to knock loose out of Dew's hands. Hitting for Mason to get an ankle or something like that. But. Punting for Foothill. He's a good one. It's the snap. He's going to hold on to it as long as he Does can. A good job. No rush. Clock Great run. job. Let that clock run, and he kicks this football. Then he shanks it. Out of bounds, which now that. <laughs> they may already be in field goal range. I believe they are. Oh, my goodness. For all of the good he did for taking, trying to take. The right would be the last play of the half. He blocked. Stay low, block. All right? Kick, scoop, and score. You ready? Big play. Here you go. Hey, Coach Vernon Brown, fifth year here at Foothill. Spent seven years at El Dorado. He was the head coach there for five years. Before that, uh, he was over with uh, one of our favorite coaches, Castro, um, at Green Valley High School for four years. Here we go. 40 GR, but not before. We're going to have a flag. And the kick. Would have been good. I believe that went through the uprights, or was that to the left of the upright, Sean? Snap is down. The kick is up. And this kick is through for three. A field goal at the half. 